I um I want to talk about this twelve year old um shooting a one year old um it's crazy our, our um the black family is getting lost in um gang activity wanting they calling him a rapper wanting to be rappers and you know they said his mother had him when she was um was it 15 or 16 let me see. His name is Little Rodney. They say he's a Crip member. At 12 years old, your baby <laughs> is a, is a uh, a member of the Crips. Okay. Uh, this is in Texas, so I, I guess he's from Texas. And he removed his ankle monitor. One at one point, um, I guess he had like some kind of home arrest, so he moved removed his ankle monitor. He said to go to a friend's funeral, and um, he's in court crying like a baby. <laughs> And at least he has an adult um, in his family um, there representing with him. His grandfather's there. But his grandfather is saying that he's been evicted a few times because of his behavior. Um, so uh, his mother, they say in his mother gave birth when she was to him when he when she was 16 and when he was a, a toddler his mother was um in and out of prison so his mother's only like 20 it's if she had him at 16 and he's 12, that's what, 28? She's only 28 and he's 12. She's 28 and he's 12. You, you understand what I'm saying? You know, so she was a baby when she had him. And the, the, his grandfather was raising him. And she, I don't know what she was involved with, but in and out of prison. Why she's in and out of prison? And why is he a Crip member? You know? Um, maybe she's a Crip member too. So, um, I wanted to hit on this um, topic because... You know the crack era, the crack era in the um, 80s when um, when I was running around in the streets, the crack era in the 80s and 90s, it was like a disaster to the uh, minority community, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to try it, people was in the closet about, you know, whether they was a crackhead or not, you understand what I'm saying? People was hiding the fact that they was using that drug and stuff, but everybody was trying it in one form or the other, you know, that or, or sniffing cocaine, you understand what I'm saying? So it was like a disaster that hit the um, urban communities. But I also want to say that the gang culture is a disaster too. And even though you have gang culture in hip hop, if the streets said it wasn't cool anymore, hip hop would change and, and, and they wouldn't do it. They just mimicking off of the streets whatever the streets say is cool, then they doing it. You understand what I'm saying? And Everybody that do something wrong. So this is for all you cats that want to be rappers. 
everybody, every kid that does something wrong, they call him a rapper. So this this kid is a rapper. I haven't. They didn't post nothing about his music. But I'm going to turn this camera around and show y'all how his grandfather is in the courts crying. And this is off of Vlad TV. Hopefully, they don't flag this video for me doing this. But I just want to, I don't usually do this. I don't usually show somebody else's video um, inside of my video. But um, I know Lord Jamal and all of them is not speaking to the lab. But <laughs> I still be hitting the site and stuff like that. It's one of my go-to sites um, to find um, what, what's going on. So here, I'm going to turn this camera. Let me see. Can I turn this camera around? I want to turn the camera around. So we can look at this guy. I can't even turn the camera around. Why don't I see the thing to turn the camera around? Well, I'm going to just turn my whole phone around and hopefully y'all see it because it's recording and I do not see the button to turn the camera around. So, let me just play this little part right here. You know what? They're picking a side over you, the kids that are trying to milk the system. Right? You're just using everyone else around you, including your grandpa, including Mr. Spence, including me. Oh, you lose me? I don't know that. You don't think you use your grandpa? I don't lose my papa. Grandpa, how many times have you been evicted because of him? Huh? About how many three, times? Three, four times. Right? He's I don't know if I lose you. I love you, sir. I love you. You don't listen. You don't listen to him. You don't follow his rules. Right? And so he Papa, loves you. Papa, so before I even cut him on the I was doing everything you asked me, right? Everything. Yes, yes. But you, you did cut the monitor because you wanted to go to the funeral. Agreed. But that's all over. We're here at this point now. we got to deal with what you got to deal with. And you keep Correct. Judge Kim. And he, that's why we are where we are now. Your Papa was a wise man. You know, he's here every single time you have a detention hearing. Every single time. Right? Because he loves you and cares about you. But you're out there thinking that there's something better than the home that he's providing. Right? Show him some gratitude. So, anyways, you know, before I used to make a deal saying you get to level 1-0 and I'll let you out on the monitor again. At this point, I'm detaining you and I'm just going to figure out, we'll see how you do. I'm going to leave it open-ended. You may stay here until you're 19 years old. I haven't decided yet. All right? So, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. But... Either way, if you don't behave here, then I know you're not going to behave outside. What you may have to do is get to your behavior level up, I'll release you, and then uh, you go out and you just break the rules again. So, you know, you can only lie to somebody so many times before they stop trusting you. And you'll find yeah. that with your friends, too. Hmm? When will I see you again? Oh, you'll see me every five days. I do this when you're under, when you're 11 years old, I, I want to see you every five days just to make sure uh, that we, we stay in communication with each other. So I'll see you Monday. Yeah, it'll be next Monday. I love you, Rodney. Papa, tell my mama I love And I love you, and I will. All right. Okay, so you're entertained. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. I hope you was able to see that. Um, but, yeah. He's in and out of um, juvenile. And... Um, the judge see, sees him as a liar, you know, because uh, he keeps crying. So those are like crocodile tears, but he keeps doing uh, bad stuff. He shot a one-year-old baby, so he's going to do a seven-year bid. Um, and they're going to um, monitor him every um, five days. So that's just a sad situation. But at least he have his grandfather there that's, you know, trying to stick it out with him. Um... But uh, the black family is going to ruins. You know, we have to do better. 
So peace, y'all. You know, I'm out. Um, yeah, try to get it together with y'all kids and raise y'all kids correctly. Peace.